they immortalized the catchphrase Jim, Tan, and Laundry on their reality show, The Jersey Shore. And it looks like the days of GTL are here to stay. On Tuesday, Jennifer JWOWW Farley, 31, and her co-star, Mike The Situation, 35, Sorrentino were spotted picking up their newly cleaned clothing from a laundromat while filming their reboot in Miami, Florida. The stars smiled from ear to ear as they picked up their belongings and bags, looking to have a chuckle as they relived their GTL catchphrase. JWOWW had her arms wrapped around one of the bags, though it looked as if Mike offered to carry it for her, as he was seen leaving the building with two loads of laundry in his hands. The reality star easily carried the two bags straight to their waiting car. JWOWW, Mike, and the majority of the original Jersey Shore cats have reunited to film the reboot in Miami, years after the debaucherous original series that catapulted them all to stardom. The pair kept it low-key that same day as they stepped out for a relaxed lunch. Mike just pleaded guilty to cheating on his taxes, but on Tuesday, the reality star looked calm and collected as he stepped out with JWOWW for a bite to eat. The reality star showed off his buff biceps in a black top, which he teamed with grey shorts, black trainers, a hat, and sunglasses. JWOWW kept it sporty in a white shirt, yoga pants, and white trainers. Just days earlier on Friday, Mike pleaded guilty to one count of tax evasion and admitted concealing his income in 2011 by making cash deposits in amounts that wouldn't trigger federal reporting requirements. Both brothers were charged with one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, which is punishable by a maximum potential prison sentence of five years upon conviction. Both also faced counts of filing false returns, each of which carries a maximum three-year sentence. Mike was allowed to leave the state to film the reboot under a judge's condition to abstain from alcohol. Mark also entered a guilty plea. Their sentencing was scheduled for late April. The brothers initially were charged with filing bogus tax returns on income earned between 2010 and 2012, mostly through two companies they controlled, MPS Entertainment and Situation Nation.